the courage, time to be deployed. Make our only stand here, make our roads complete. All we waited for now, past and future meet. Get your weapons ready, kiss the ones goodbye. Now our time is coming, and it is not the time to cry. What's going on, everyone? Hello, peoples of the wonderful internet. Hello, Twitch. Uh, what's going on, Law? Hello, Game. What's up, T minus? What is up, Guilt? What's up, Roix? Hello uh, to everybody. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well today. How is everyone in this fine evening? And are you guys ready for your surprise? <laughs> Such as it is. Are you ready for this this surprise of awesomeness? One hopes. Hey, Jedi. Actually, as I'm checking my... Making sure that I got my volume set up right. Because that would suck if I didn't. Yeah, that's what I was talking, thinking about. Let's drop that to... There we go. Okay. Uh, I am going to be preloading Thief. What's up, uh, Jedi? Uh, yeah, I am going to be preloading Thief for sure. Um, so, yeah, let me uh, make sure that I got that right. Yes, cool. All right, so were you guys ready? Are you guys ready for your surprise? Hmm? <laughs> Thank you very much, Law. Yeah, that's actually related to the whole... Um, well, I already was Dr. Eleron, technically, I guess. Theoretically. But uh, I'm going to actually uh, let you guys... Uh, it's actually because of that that this surprise is going to happen. So you guys ready? Are your bodies ready? Are your bodies and souls ready for the surprise that awaits you? Hello, I'm a quinner. Welcome in. Welcome to the stream. 
<laughs> Arctic, exactly. A lot. Well, that depends. That depends. Uh, I have to decide. First, I got to kind of play it out. Maybe do a couple of different play styles, you know. Maybe can I can up unlock on administration. All right. Here we go. And... Zap. There's your surprise, Internet. You asked for it. You demanded it. So you're getting it. At least for tonight. This is an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Yes, it is a webcam. Yes, it is a webcam. In before webcam, you were prepared. I love I love the reactions some people have. I'm actually looking over to the right at what uh, chat has. And uh, so all the reactions are like that way. What's going on, everybody? See, this is now, you know, you have to be aware that this is the this is the voice. This is the thing behind the curtain. So, you know, if if this is blowing your uh, your understanding, although it's not like I'm hidden. Like if you've seen my website, you know what I look like. But yeah, so I'm giving it a try. Hello. Yes, that's me. Um, so, uh, I'm giving it a try. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> a face to the voice. That's right. Oh, and I wasn't going to wear that. I was going to say, I don't need to wear these, these headphones until it actually gets started. So I got a camera up before you. Well, you know, the thing is I got this camera, I got this webcam, I got a C920, which is... Which is... That... I got a C920, which is supposedly one of the best webcams on the market, and I got it because I wanted to be able to do my interview with this. Um, <laughs> what's up, Mel? And I wanted to be able to do I wanted to be able to do the webcam um, to, to be able to do the interview better, and that was great. Except that uh, when I you know so I installed it and got all that stuff ready, um, and it worked okay, but I didn't really have it zoomed in right or properly, so I did some tweaking of it today, and. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, I wanted to give it a try, um, finally. I am not going to go down the green screen road, let me just say that up front. I am not going to start doing, uh, you know, the million things that Inanim has with, like, the freaking, you know, screens behind him and the triple lighting and all this garbage. Um, uh, not garbage for him, I mean, it looks great and all that, but that's not, that's not me. So you get to see my office. This is my office, those are my books, some of the books back there. Those are some uh, those are some debate trophies and things like that that I haven't organized yet because even though I've been moved into my house like for three years I haven't unpacked and organized everything because we keep having to reorganize. So uh, you guys get to see my you guys get to see my office. So yeah, Logitech. Um, the C9320. I I went in and I was like, listen, because the last one I had was a was a uh, Microsoft um, Life Cam, and um, I still have it actually for like portable stuff. But not for this. Um, this this was it was like I was tired of getting people making fun of me for the original Kickstarter video, so I went and got that. So anyway, um, yeah. So we'll see if this works. We'll see if people like it or whatever. I spend a little bit of time tweaking it and getting it coordinated. One of the biggest adjustments for me is that normally when I've streamed before, I normally am like this, almost like talking to the mic like that. That's obviously not going to work. So I actually had to compensate by turning up the volume on my mixer. So I don't know, does the volume sound okay for you guys? Is it too loud? Is it too... <laughs> What's up, Demon Blade? Yeah, I need more books. Is it too loud? Is it too, um, uh, too loud, too quiet? What's the... You guys can actually just see the compressor right here. Um, so you can just see the compressor lighting up like there. But um, so, uh, nice guilt. Um, so what do you guys think? Is it too loud um, leaning back like this? Because I want to be able to do that so I'm not like talking like this all the time. So is it is it too loud or is it okay? Sounds good? Okay. Because that way I can just, I can kind of keep, this way my monitor's here. I can look at that over there. I've got chat over here and we can kind of do it that way. Um, the reason I can do this, by the way, uh, is because, thank you, thank you game, cool. The reason I can do this is because uh, I just got promoted um, to full professor. Um, and just for in case people are confused, because a couple of people asked, um, so when you first get hired, most of the time you get hired as an assistant professor, uh, and then you move on to, oh, cool, thanks, Demon. Um, then you, um, you get hired as an assistant professor. Then after about six years or so, you go up for tenure, and if they like you, and, you know, if you've fulfilled the statutes and the requirements for the university, then you will be granted tenure, and at that point, you're almost always promoted to associate professor, and that's what I was, uh, and then, um, after three or four years, I think it's four years is the minimum, you can apply 
apply for um, you can apply for promotion to full professor um, and so that's what I did so I applied for promotion to full professor and yesterday um, a uh, the university personnel committee voted and approved my promotion to full professor so it's gonna happen so as a consequence um, that means that um, I don't care anymore if people see me streaming um, there was a part of me that was kind of worried about what would happen if people from the university, you know, saw the stream, like actually saw my face on cam. And I was a little bit like, eh, I don't know. So I've done it a little bit actually with Dungeons and Dragons when I played on Catabasis' stream, but not a whole lot and not under my own name and not under my own channel. Um, but, you know, I did that and I'm like, you know, whatever. Like, I, I think it's worth a try. Maybe people are going to like it. If they don't like it, I can always not do it, you know, and delete the streams or whatever if need be. Um, and from the author side, I think that I've gotten so much benefit from Twitch and so much value out of the community that I'm just like, I might as well do it, you know. Um, I, I might as well, uh, you know, be a part of it. So that's what we're going to do. So, uh, Arv Cam. Oh, turn autofocus off. Thank you. See? I'm such a noob to all this stuff, I don't even know. All right, hold on, let me adjust that. Uh, <laughs> Autofocus off. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, this beard I've had for a while. I used to have just the goatee. Um, and in fact, the pictures that you see on my website are just me with the goatee. But a while ago, I realized that like this was filling in pretty well. And I was like, you know, I don't like having to shave constantly. So trimming once every couple of weeks, that's fine. Shaving, so anyway, now my daughter's used to it. My daughter was like, uh, you know, Daddy, don't ever shave your beard ever. And I remember that my dad, I remember when I was a kid, there was one point where my dad, um, he used to have the mutton chops, like the 70s style mutton chops, and he had shaved off entirely, and I was not happy. I'm like, what did you do to my father? What did you do to my dad? So uh, I, now I'm kind of like set. I can't do that anymore. Yeah, it's uh, no, I, I think it's the it may be the professor beard. Yeah, it might be. I like to think of it more as the um, as sort of the hipster author beard, you know, so. Oh, and the last thing I'll say, I wore this specially for you guys. Let's see if you can. Can you see it? Avengers Assemble. I wore that just for you guys. All about the Avengers tonight. So. Oh, thanks, game. I appreciate that. Well, you know, it's more sort of always my worry. This is what Inom makes fun of me for. It's always my worry that people are going to, you know, I don't want people to take me not seriously because they're like, what? You're streaming? Let's screw you. So, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, that's how old I was, Zach. I think I was like six or seven and I was like not having it. So. Anyway, all right, well, let's get into it, guys. Um, so uh, just one announcement about next week. <laughs> See, I was waiting for Inam to show up. Okay, sounds good, Law. Have a good time at school, man. I was waiting, Inam, I'm waiting for you to show up. I was waiting, sir, for you to show up. Um, I told you it was a surprise. That's, that's what I said. Uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, what's going on with the stream is um, that just a reminder about schedule change. Uh, next week... I'm going to be starting to stream. I'll still be streaming three days a week, but instead of Tuesday during the night, um, Thursday night, and Friday during the day, I'm going to switch to one more day, and I'm going to take away one of the evenings. So I'm now going to be streaming Wednesday day, Thursday night, and sorry, yeah, Wednesday day, Thursday night, and Friday day. So two day streams and uh, one night stream. So Wednesday during the day, Thursday at night, just like now, and Friday during the day. Um, and then the occasional weekend cast for Baldur's Gate or whatever else. So there'll be an additional fourth cast. That's up through May. Now, once we get to May and the summer hits, I don't know what my schedule is going to be like. It's probably going to change. Could be more, could be less. Not, it's not, not likely to be less, but it could be a little bit more depending on how my schedule will look. So um, that's what's happening with that. Um, yeah, <laughs> see? See, I knew it, Inam. I knew it. See? I'm conducting an after-hours creative discussion with new medium men. Very nice. I need to, you need to throw in some more, an after hours creative contextualization of new media methods in the um, adjunct contingent sphere. And by the time they figure that out, you leave the room. Like that's just, that's just how that goes. Um, so what a spacious office. Yeah. What's up, Lego? We do. We have Ella chair. Oh, I'll show you Ella chair.
See? That right there. I don't want to screw up my camera by moving it around, but... Uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is Ella Chair. What's up, Pin? It buffered on the most derp face. What is the most derp face you've ever seen? Actually, maybe I shouldn't even ask you that question about what derp face actually is. Anyway, um, so I know, Quinner, I know, too many big words, I know. That's why, that's why, we're, uh, that's why I'm saying it's got to be used right for academics. But anyway, um, but it's good to see all of you guys, and uh, we will. This is an experiment. We'll see how this goes with the uh, webcam. So anyway, I mentioned the schedule will change. As far as uh, games being played, I'm playing uh, Thief: Deadly Shadows tonight. Now tomorrow, normally I'm going to be streaming during the day. However, tomorrow is going to be a little weird because I have a couple of appointments that I have to do during the day. So I don't. Ex so the stream is going to happen, but it might be like later. It might be like four, three or four ish in the afternoon or something. So just bear in mind, tomorrow is going to be a little bit odd. Starting next week will be on to the more normal schedule Wednesday night Thursday sorry Wednesday day Thursday night and Friday day um, also this weekend should be Baldur's Gate 2 I think on Saturday afternoon we're playing and by the way in um, we should be aware of that um, and so uh, that is happening Ooh, that's nice from very and I like that then I'm good for streaming MLG lol yeah oh my god the green screen is not that is not happening anytime soon I'm telling you right now anyway um, uh, yeah so, what was I saying? Oh, Baldur's Gate. So, Baldur's Gate 2 is happening. Uh, that's going to be happening this after uh, Saturday. And so, Inam, uh, just in case we haven't talked about that yet, I've heard from everybody else, but are you cool with Saturday? Okay, good. So, by, by Inam's reaction, I think that's good. So, we're playing on Saturday. We are done with flipping Watcher's Keep. Thank God. So, we're done with that. We're actually back to the main quest. We're actually going to go back to trying to save... The world, because that's what we do when we're not wasting our time in Watcher's Keep. So um, we are uh, actually going to be back to that. So that's going to be happening on Saturday. So Thief Deadly Shadows tonight, Thief Deadly Shadows tomorrow, uh, and then um, Baldur's Gate on Saturday. And then next um, Wednesday, which is when I stream again, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think Thief is out on the 25th. So probably on Wednesday, uh, I will be streaming. I don't think I'm going to be through Dead Thief Deadly Shadows. I'm going to be streaming the new Thief. Then I may have to go back and finish this thief, and then I'll go back to black guards. So that's the way that looks. Oh, nice, Zach. That's awesome, man. Yeah, D that's true. D Durlake's Tower was much more... Well, you know, the funny thing was there were parts... Like, we talked about this afterwards. There were parts of Durlake's of uh, Watcher's Keep that I liked. There were parts that were good, but there was something about the pacing that was off. Like, there was stuff you're like, oh, this is a really cool floor, and then it's like... Then just crap happened, and you're like, oh, God, really? Like, uh, you know, or there'd be this cool maze, but then it's like, now have a wild mage. And you're like, uh, really? Like the stupid wild magic room? So, um, yeah, it's something about the pacing of that did not work out. So, yeah. <laughs> a little, a little bitter. A little bitter. Uh, but yeah, 25th. Yeah, countdown. Well, so that's the way it's going to work. So, Thief Deadly Shadows now, Thief Deadly Shadows tomorrow, uh, Baldur's Gate on Saturday, uh, and then next, uh, Wednesday, which will be my next official cast, uh, we will move into, um, Thief, the new Thief, which hopefully lives up to the hype. And once I'm done with that, I'll go back, I'll finish Deadly Shadows, this one, and then I'll go back to Blackguards, and we will continue from there. So, that's the plan. All right, so let us get underway. Three days until your 30th birthday. Oh, nice Jedi. <laughs> is that racism? Is that what it's called? 1298 is wild mage racism. All right. Well, let me uh, shift my thing over here to the other monitor. No, I haven't. That's one of the ones we've got on the list game. We're going to be playing Temple of Elemental Evil after we're done. But it's going to be a while, though. Because we got to get through Baldur's Gate 2. Then we got to get through Icewind Dale 1, Icewind Dale 2. Uh, and then we get to Temple of Elemental Evil. So... You know, we'll get there eventually, but it's going to be a while. Um, so, yeah. All right. Now, let me see if I hit this properly. There we go. I know, right? Now the Demogorgon's done. It's like, it's almost like they were like, okay, you could be the Demogorgon. I guess this is irrelevant, but here, have some abilities. So, you know. <laughs> Nedowin, what's up, man? Welcome in, dude. He's like, what is going on? This is madness. All right, and I am going to be making tweaks and adjustments to this, guys, as I go on, so please bear with me. Um, I am not used to streaming with a webcam, obviously, so... So, yeah. All right. There's Steam. 
There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, of course, this is the bet. You know, this is after I just taught at school and I had my big uh, promotion meeting yesterday. So uh, this is kind of top of the line for me. Although not, I wasn't wearing an Avengers shirt when I did that. So. Yeah, man. Classy trim beards. What's about? No, I'm not. I'm not likely to play Elder Scrolls Online. There is a possibility that I could. I actually met a guy um, who is one of the content producers um, at the convention I was at last weekend. He uh, is one of the lead content developers for Elder Scrolls, um, but he can't come on the stream because I guess Zenimax is very hardcore about who they allow to be on and not. So he was going to try to put me in touch with um, their PR people and see if they could get something on there. Who knows? You know, with these huge companies, it's hard to say. I sent in a, a, a message to the PR people at I. Um, Montreal. I haven't heard anything back from them. Uh, you know, the whole thing with Warner Brothers, they never got back to me about, you know, it was always this thing about, oh, we can't do it right now about Arkham Origins. So I have no idea um, what the deal is with uh, whether I can get a hold of the devs for um, uh, Elder Scrolls. If I do, though, if I can get one of them on, then I'll play it. Otherwise, probably not. So <laughs> what's up, duty? What's going on, man? And it talks. Uh, sure, I guess you can make a request, Zach. Yes, I've done Planescape Torment, one of my favorite games. Great game. Great story also. Not very good, I mean, not really a multiplayer game in my mind, but a very great game. Just like real. Oh, that's right, that's right. Yes, Dark Messiah Might and Magic, which I've played on stream, is a great game. Really underrated, I think. Like, a really, really underrated game, uh, in my view. And I've also got a fix. Hold on a moment. I gotta fix this, cause... Yeah, hold on a second guys, cause this is... This doesn't look quite right. What's up, CT? Foeman Raid! Oh ho ho! We got some raiders coming in! Hey, hey, welcome in. What's up, Ron? Hello, Foman Chu Raiders. What's going on, guys? Hello, Crythorn. What's up, Oshirado? What's up, uh, Wyvold, Deadliner, Bloodburn, Crythorn? What's up? Good to see everybody. Let me show you, make sure that I got this working right. All right, I think I got that right. Cool. What's up, uh, Fo hey, Foman Chu? What's up, Ron? Good to see you, Ron. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for the raid, dude. I appreciate it. I guess you were playing uh, Banished, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I gotta fix that. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I guess you were playing um, uh, Banished, which I've... I watched uh, Kata playing a little bit of that, and a lot of people like, um, like Banished, so... Uh, it looks like it's still cut off, doesn't it? The gem still looks like it's cut off. Sorry, Raiders. Give me one sec. <laughs> Good to see you. Thanks a lot, Ron, for the raid. I appreciate it. If you guys haven't already done so, you should definitely follow. Um, definitely should follow uh, Fomenchu, who plays some cool games. Um, yeah, I know the capture's off. That's what I got to fix. I had to do this in a really weird way because the window capture is not working properly. Um, nice, Nedwin. That's also welcome in, Mr. Moon. Thanks to all the Raiders. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, and I apologize for the technical difficulties, but I'm trying to capture, um, Thief Deadly Shadows, and it's not easy to capture, unfortunately. See, why is that? Oh, I know why. I know exactly why. I know exactly why. Hold on. No, that's not why. Weird. Why is it doing that? Hmm, that's very strange. Hey, what's up, Squirrelish? Hello, Freebird. Welcome in, everybody. Apologies for the uh, technical difficulties. Just give me a second whilst I get this, uh, while I get this squared away. Okay. Uh, let's see.
Hey, what's up, Burner? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I did that just in time for this to uh, be giving me grief about uh, how this works. Darn it. Come on now. Hey, what's up, Clancy? Yeah, good to see everybody, guys. Uh, just give me one second while I get this thing underway. Um, this thing is not quite working the way I wanted it to. And I don't know why. Actually, let me try... Um... Ah, that might, that might have done it right there. That might have done it. Let's see if it did. Let's see if it did. Bear with me. Haha, -ha, there we go. Much better. Okay, cool. So, uh, thank you guys very much. And yes, um, whilst I did bust it out. What's up, Master Assassin 713? Thank you all so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Again, if you guys are not already doing so, definitely check out um, Fomenshu. Uh, he is a good streamer, plays some interesting games. I think he's doing Banished at the moment. Uh, Ron is a good guy. So, But um, yeah, yeah, I wanted to try something different. That I, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I figure it's uh, it's worth a try. So, um, But uh, yes, and I am going to be in an anthology called uh, Heroes. Uh, actually was part of uh, the Origins Anthology um, for this anthology called for uh, a convention called Origins uh, that I go to every year in Columbus. Um, Time Travel Tales was the first one of that a couple of last year and there's going to be a, my publisher Sans and Library is releasing an anthology for this year um, and uh, that is going to be from the stories from last year if that makes any sense. So Time Travel Tales was two years ago and the actual Kickstarter was last year. This one was last year and the Kickstarter is this year so it's always a year behind. So, all right. So anyway, thanks to everybody. My name is Arvin Elleron. I play a lot of different games, and right now I am playing Thief Deadly Shadows. Um, and we're going to check out and see how this all looks. This, by the way, in case you guys are wondering, I have to go see my fence Heartless Perry to sell him the Bloodline Opal. Hey, what's up, Foxbox? Good to see you, man. Thanks to all the people who came over for the raid. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. And again, my people, if you haven't already, uh, definitely check out Ron. Ron is a uh, good streamer. Fomanchu is a good streamer. And you guys should uh, check him out. What's up, G-Man? Yes, sir. That is exactly right. Oh, those shadows. This is still also, it's chugging a little bit. I don't entirely know. It's not chugging on my end. It looks beautiful. But on your end, I know it's chugging a little bit. I don't entirely know why that is. Except to say that, um... Except that, um, it probably has something to do with the window capture. And I don't know how much that ties into the webcam as well. So, we'll see. Anyway. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Ah, that's yours truly, if you can actually see that. <laughs> hey, what's up, Matmo? <laughs> Good to see you, bro. What's up, Toon Fan? Hello. Hi, guys. Wonderful to see everyone today. Ooh, a noisemaker arrow. Nice. Why would you keep one arrow in a chest? Why exactly would you do that? I don't even... I don't even know. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Going well, Jim. Hey, Nalakin. Wow. Arvin Cam. <laughs> what's up, Dragon Spear? Hello, Nalakin. What's going on, man? Good to see some uh, some of the old regulars back. It's cool. Um, yeah, you know where exactly where I am. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I I beat him up. You don't want you don't want that guy to be your streamer. You don't know what that guy's gonna do. You know these professor types, man. It's going well, G-Man. Uh, it fin the Kickstarter finished last week at 16,000, uh, 15,884 with 401 backers. So, 
that went very very well and as far as like new information about that hopefully I'll be able to talk about um, new information with it soon in terms of distribution and the like but we are in the we're in the process right now we are in the midst as we speak of um, we are in the midst of uh, of getting it you know working on it <laughs> so actually getting it produced for everybody and um, due date is I think uh, August for the e-version September for print and then hopefully we'll have some other distribution things going on down the line so Oh, it's just you. Oh. At first I thought somebody had broken in or something. Well, good evening. <sighs> oh. I thought he was a city watch guy and people don't like city watch people. Okay. <laughs> Landlord. Should I really should I really be breaking into my own landlord's place? Hey, what's up, Adam? Awesome, Lego. I want to see how far he comes. Like, do I have to try to unlock this the minute he leaves? Right, exactly, Wolf. Like, I should be able to do this, right? Maybe I can, like, you know, change my lease, make, make it more favorable terms. What we got? Oh god. Someone there. Uh no. Nobody's here. Nobody here but us falling things. Everyone your class wants to know about your channel. Whatever I heard must have been dunno. Oh, you're having a crazy blizzard? Oh my god, man. What else is new? All we're getting is crazy blizzards. What's up, Odd Um Everyone in your classes wants to know about your channel. Hey, D Zero, what's up, man? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm extremely happy that we actually don't have that situation. I'm uh, mm -hmm. that that we actually had a little bit of a break from the snow today. I like snow. I like winter, but. I, I have had enough. I'm just pretty much, I'm like, you know, winter, you've had your say. So enough is enough. All right. Journal of Z Wicket. Tuesday, finally got the rent money from Garrett, the tenant across the hall, just in time, too. But Taffet, all these payments are draining me dry. Why is he blackmailing me? I'm not a rich man. I put the rent money in with the other coins I've managed to gather up and deposit them as that blasted lowlife instructed underneath an old sewer grate down in Black Alley. I can't take much more making payments every single day like this. Okay, sewer grate. Sorry, Tune, I don't understand. It is Weird Arv there. What's your YouTube name? My YouTube name uh, should be listed under my... Uh, people should be able to link, I think, to my to my YouTube. Hide me in the chest, yeah. Too bad Mr. Wicket has to pay money to his blackmailer. Too bad for his blackmailer that I know where the drop is. Oh, yeah. New note. Alright, so everyone help me remember that. Blackmail Monday under a sewer grate in Black Alley. Oh, darn it. Okay. Sometimes I can't quite tell if something is treasure or not. I mean, it is glowing, so I should be able to tell, but... <laughs> no. This is a... Clean canteen. This is water. That's what this is. 
Sounds good, Net. All right. Oh, this guy's not gonna... Alright, I'm gonna have to knock this guy out. Because he's not gonna be happy if I, um... Nice. Because he's not gonna be pleased if I try to unlock those doors, so... Top of the morning to you, sir. Oh, these godforsaken boots. Why can't I wear my own shoes to work? What difference could it possibly... <coughs> There you go. Sorry about that. You won't have to worry about your boots anymore. I sympathize. Where better to put you but in the landlord's office? No, I know it's interactive, but like, there's another... Hello, Philly! Follow me, sir. See? You were in there and all of a sudden, like, you know, you accidentally got attacked by a big jug. That's all. You were just there and then this massive thing just fell over on you and you were knocked out. And you'll apologize in the morning. <laughs> I know, right? He's not going to be happy. He should be, man. I'm, I'm testing out his security systems for him. Good to see you, Philly. So again, thanks everyone for uh, the raid. I appreciate it. If you like what you see in here, please make sure to follow. That is much appreciated. Unlock. Yeah. Good man. Celebrating. Uh, got promoted uh, yesterday. So I'm celebrating that. Celebrating a successful Kickstarter last week. So that's why the surprise with the webcam. Got a snoring guy in here. Which door? Um, uh, one leading to the other. Got to be a reason they have this guy here. Really? You have no loot at all? Really? No loot. Hey, what's up, Lunar? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, and face cam is a consequence. Oh, that one is loot. These two are loot, actually. Which door? Um, uh, one needs uh, the other. Thank you. Yeah, well, I had, um, I had kind of a rough couple of months, as you know, with, uh, health concerns and otherwise, and so, um, I am, I am very pleased, um, yeah, it was, it was kind of, it's been nice to have a, you know, actually one that works, a uh, month that's been good, so. Hey. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate that, man, very much. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I, I appreciate that very much. It was a little, um, you know, there was there, I was, it's always until it's actually over, you're never 100% sure how it's going to go, but, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. It was intimidating, though. You walk in, and, uh, when I went up for tenure, the building where they had this didn't even exist. But they built this new thing, um, called the D'Angelo Student Center. And, um, they ended up... Oh. Hey, baby. Well, now you guys can see uh, my daughter on cam as well. Say hi. Here, you can... Here. In here. See? That's my daughter. 
That's the one that you've heard on, uh, that's the one you've heard on the channel before. Uh, this is a game called, uh, Thief. So he's sneaking into this room. How's he gonna get there? He's gonna get through the lock. <laughs> it is hard to get through the lock, yeah. Well, because I'm not really supposed to be there. But in the game, you play a thief. They're all saying, hi, cutie. She's adorable. She looks a lot like you. She's cute. <laughs> I know we look alike. Because we both have blonde hair. Because you both have blonde hair. <laughs> Alright, little girl. Sleep time. That's a very cute sheep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and cheap pants. That's awesome. I know. Okay, baby. But don't forget, five, six, one, eight. <laughs> yes. But how are you gonna, but there's a person there. I know. I'll talk to the person. It'll be fine. It's okay. But but you're supposed to be like, Yeah, I'll be very careful. I'll kinda sneak in. I'll sneak in like And pretend that you're actually a person visiting? Yes, that's right. <laughs> but actually sneaking in. But actually sneaking in. But it's a game, remember, not for real. <laughs> That is a cool cover. Okay, late time, my love. <laughs> what's up, Cujo? Hey, guys, what's up? Uh, that's my daughter. Yeah, she's awesome. She is the best. Uh, okay, so what were we talking about? Um, uh, oh, yeah, so I was talking about it's intimidating because I walk in... And I actually, the reason I stopped for a second just to talk, yeah, oh, she is full of energy. It's actually late for her. She was actually uh, up late, but she's um, she's got it's uh, a break for her school this week. So, um, but uh, so you walk in and it's you're in this big like s this room didn't exist as I said when I went up for tenure four years ago. So it's like this huge room and there's this big mahogany table and there's like 21 or 22 people on this committee that actually makes the final decision and they're all like lining the room the, the table so when you walk in it's just complete silence right and so you walk up to the front you're like whoa you know um and then uh, the guy who does uh my former chair gave my presentation then i gave my presentation and then fielded a couple of questions and then i left the room and then they came out like i think it was like two two minutes later, maybe three minutes later, and the dean was there, and she gave me a hug, and she's like, yes, it was great, and you were superb, and this was wonderful, and I had, um, I had passed, so now it just needs, the board of trustees uh, just needs to approve it, but the apparent, knock on wood, the board of trustees apparently always approves it, so again, knock on wood. Um, so that's that, so very, very cool, um, very, very exciting. But I was already a professor. I want to say a full professor just means that um, that that's the highest academic rank that I can achieve. So I've done that. I've actually been at uh, my university. This is my 11th year of teaching there, which is hard to believe. So when she turns 15 or 16 and starts dating boys. Well, actually, oh, damn, I've already started to um, consult with uh, kindergartners about um, their, uh, you know, their uh, their prospects for first and second grade. You know, I shouldn't be surprised if it snowed. Not at this point. Someone should really do something about this. What's the point of living in the city if one is still at the mercy of foul weather? <sighs> Have a seat. That's unfortunate. Here, why don't you, uh, why don't you just go right down over here? There we go. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> it's my duty as a dad. Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, they're essentially forever. Well, no, what it does is, I mean, it's a little bit more money, 
What it does is Philly is it means that when you reach the highest possible academic rank, it means that you've reached the level where you don't have to worry about stupid stuff being a problem. So that's, for example, this. Like, I don't think it would have been a problem if they had, you know, if an administrator or someone happened to come across my streaming because I've made very clear how this ties into what I also teach. But it's possible they could have been like, you know, this is not what academics should do and blah, 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 blah. And um, so I needed to sort of protect against that. And um, so this this sort of ensures that there's not they, there's not really anything they could do, even if they were inclined to do anything. You know, I mean, it hasn't affected. Obviously, none of this has ever affected my teaching or anything else. You know, obviously, those things have to come first. Um, but um, but this is an important part of, of who I am and what I do. And I, you know, so anyway, what's up, Demiser? Good to see you, man. <laughs> right, exactly. I can get complacent. <laughs> All right, Henry and the Hag. Once there was a little boy named Henry who lived with his mother and father. Why is this book open on this woman's bed? Anyway, Henry was good most of the time, but sometimes he disobeyed his parents and went out wandering the streets alone at night. He was hoping to find food for his parents who often went hungry to make sure Henry had enough. One night, Henry came upon an old gray lady. She asked him to help with a bundle which was too heavy for her. Henry wanted to help the old woman, though he couldn't see her face under the gray hood. When Henry stooped to lift the bundle, he did see her face. It was the hag. When the hag was done eating him, all that was left of Henry was a pile of bones and clothes. When his parents found him the next day, his mother wept, Oh, if only he had listened to me and non got out alone at night. The end. Why is that on her bed? Is that like a reminder to her to not go out by herself? Like what? Oh, NASCAR racing got in the way? Oh, cool, dude. Yeah, the dad eyes. I've actually, my student, this is the dad eyes. That's the dad eyes. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Samaria? <laughs> see, everyone's just like, wait, what? Oh, man. It's an experiment, Samaria. We'll see how it works. But like, what is that? Why is this book open on her bed? I don't understand. Why Why was this book open on your bed? Confess. Oh. Don't play silent with me. You don't like NASCAR? Why did well, then? Why did NASCAR racing get in the way? You picture me with a sorcerer's hat. Oh, Shakespeare. <laughs> that is interesting. It's like you don't mean Shakespeare. You mean Shaq Spire, right? All right. What do we got? Nope. Nope. Alright, well I'm not going to waste water arrows on the torch for no reason. Okay. I assume that's the way to the back alley, but we'll find out. Just to be on the safe side. Hey, hey! Thanks, Levas. I appreciate it, man. Oh, your parents were using it so you couldn't record. Okay. So NASCAR racing didn't affect... It affected them, which affected you, basically. Yeah, good to see everyone today. Yes, I will enter the south quarter. Ah, the city. Obey the law, and there's no need to worry about the residents. So then I said, The city I can't watch read. are the guys who want to lock me says, up, though. I got the whole place Gotta keep my eye out, out for them. Or, uh, no. Okay. So I gotta keep my eye out for the city watch. Same thing happened to me. 
I can read so I could see for myself. <laughs> Shakes a pair. The city wasp wouldn't give me the time of day. What do you think? Some kind of plague? That's what I thought. But then I was talking to Jesse down over the tavern and he says it's some kind of ship come into the docks. Something wrong with it. The quarantine is so that... And this is Jesse who said it, so take it for what it's worth. That otherwise the undead would be everywhere. Oh, undead. Uh, uh, everywhere? I, oh, I wonder sucks, if Natalie's Sorry, okay. Man. She lives over yeah, in the thanks, docks Carter. near the Bloody Ears Tavern. I know. And Grace O'Malley, too. Mind you, Jesse could be wrong. Sure, he's been wrong before. That's, that's right. Everything's probably all right. Yeah, the city watch is just being careful. Doing this quarantine thing is a precautionary type step. Yeah. Hello? Alright. Alright, so I basically have to check around here as much as I can and eventually get there. What's up, Zarin? Stop failing. Do what I can, man. I'll do what I can. Whoa. That is a big cockroach. Hi. Wow, that is a really big cockroach. That cockroach is the size of a rat. <laughs> that is a big cockroach. Okay, my house, that's Stone Market. That's the Black Alley, which I have to get to eventually. Um, scarab? Oh, that's a scarab? They just have scarabs wandering, like, the streets? But the scarab is bigger than the rat. Look, look, there's the scarab, right? Here's the rat. It's a big scarab. Alright, so I just wish it would show where I was. It's really annoying that it doesn't do that. What's up, Gross? It's a barracuda bug. <laughs> barracuda! Look at the size of that! Oh, hey! Yes! Water arrows. Nice. Excuse me. All right, well, these houses are locked, so that makes it a little bit easier. I don't have a thousand choices to figure out where to go. I'm going to assume I am supposed to go down here. After all. Hey, what's up, Thorg? Yes, indeed. Hey, listen, listen. In Thief, I ought to be able to get a map. I don't care what their excuse is. Never mind their nonsense. It's just intimidating, man. It looks like... It's just... I don't know. It's just intimidating. Alright. It's a beagle wearing body armor. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thorg. I appreciate it, dude. And yes, Corpulent, what's going on, man? Yeah, I agree. Uh, I have it pre-ordered and ready to go. And apparently you can preload it. I have to preload it as well. That looks like the city watch. Actually...
Nothing in the well. Okay. Thanks, Corpulent. I was already a professor, but but uh, this is basically the top academic rank that you can get that I just got, so that was cool. That was very, very cool. There's a well. Okay, so I must not be there yet. Oh, man. I'll have to unlock that in a minute. Bugs are really terrifying. It's just that particular size. Pro rank, yeah, top tier. <laughs> I would not say I'm better than a king. I mean, I guess it depends what king. I guess it would depend on what king we're talking about. No, but it was it was nice. I actually have to say, I, I felt even better about it than I thought I was going to. Because, you know, I felt reasonably... Whoa. I felt reasonably good about it, um, you know, just because the things I had heard, everyone said that I was doing well, whatever, leading up to it. So I was like, okay, it should be fine, you know. But um, but you're never sure, of course. And when I actually happened, it was it was kind of cool. I mean, my father was a professor also, um, and so and he was never able to get to that status. He should have been able to get to that status. He kind of there were just like things happened that that were unfortunate and just. You know, it just meant that he never got as high as he really deserved to get. And so there was there was a little bit of feeling like um like we I don't know, like like we he and I sort of uh, had completed a little bit of a journey together. I mean, it was my journey and all that, but still it felt kind of good. So If this is just unlocking the front door to the road, this is going to be a little embarrassing right here. I thought close. Oh, I heard something. You didn't. Evening. King Joffrey. Yeah. Uh, hey, God. guards! <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt? <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt? <laughs> Come back here! Uh-oh! <laughs> Was that supposed to hurt? Alright, you know what? Those are sitting watch. You can tell by their insignia. The guys have to look out for. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, man. I thought that you couldn't be seen when you lean, but clearly I'm wrong. My bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I knew that the blackjack wasn't going to do anything to him when he's aware. That's just like, man. <laughs> uh, that was not, not cool. Bastard. Take that key, too. Alright. Now that that little silliness is taken care of. There we go. 
Hope you wake up with a backache, you punk. Is that supposed to hurt? <laughs> you know, like just really? I'm just a good, honest thief trying to make a living. And, uh... Those scarabs. Nathan. Okay. No passing quarantine area by order of the city watch. No increase, please. Violators will be prosecuted. Quarantine. Okay. To the docks. Okay. Docks are blocked off. Pavlock Prison. That's the city watch. I'm going to have to deal with that in a second. Those are city watch. You can tell by their insignia. They're the guys I have to look out for. If I can. Hi, how goes it? Ah, bugger off. That guy's gonna be fun. See you, Felly. Thanks a lot, man. Someone's about. Ah, darn it. That's what happens when you hit the Windows key instead of the Control key. <laughs> Whoops. I won't feel better till I'm looking around a spell. Ah, forget it. Whatever made that noise is. Alright, I'm gonna save this just in case. On guard. Come in here. Uh -uh. There you go. Have a seat, guard. Dun da da. Ha ha ha. What I'm talking about. No more city watch. Thing around here. Oh man, I could have just, I could have just gone around like that and gotten to jump on him. Well, I didn't need to waste a noisemaker arrow, but oh well. Right, and that's the back alley. Okay, okay, that's fine. I'll deal with that black, that back alley in a minute. What's with the hood? Nothing, it's a fashion statement. What do you mean, what's with the hood? 
Hey, hey, what's up, Perkitos? Yeah, Arf Cam. That is correct, Arf Cam. I love that guy hasn't even noticed that like half the stuff is missing. Is this the way that I came? I think it is the way that I came. Man. My right. Okay. So I got through the watch, so I just have to get to the uh I just have to get the black alley thing. Yeah, that's where I came from. Alright. So I just have to get the uh the sewer back alley deal. <laughs> oh the watch. Nothing kills him. Oh god. Parola. Found you, you dog. You're dead. Alright, chap. Are we fighting or dancing? Oh. <sighs> Ain't nowhere to go, you know. <laughs> yes, I knew that was coming. That's what happens when I try to go after a guy for no reason. There was absolutely no reason to do that. Oh, Fizban. Did I not save it after I took the stuff from this guy? Oh, hi. Hello, hello. Save it now. Brought a knife to sword fight. Hey, what's up, Optic? Thanks very much, man. I appreciate it. And if uh, you guys are not already doing so, I would assume that most people are that are here. But if not, please make sure to follow Optic because uh, he really is a good guy, a good streamer. This is, again, the way I came from. So I don't know why I insist on continuing to go back to that alley. But he's a good guy. So uh, definitely follow him. Make sure I don't run afoul that the uh, guard again. <laughs> Zero. Zero game. Actually, that's not totally true. That's not actually true. I did actually put in uh, a mod called Sneaky. Um, I think it's called Sneaky Thief, Sneaky Archive, uh, something like that. And it basically is a patch that updates and upgrades the game and stuff like that. So I did do that. Oh god. God damn it. Please, no trouble. Just quick load it, please. <sighs> What's up, Sunday Air? Have a seat. Come with me. Right this way, sir. And right in there. Have fun, City Watch. There we go. Alright. Oh, really nice, guys. Ah, cool, Corpulent. Alright. So now I think I can go to that back alley. I got everything I need to... God damn it with the watch. What's going on with so many people with a watch? Dude, really? I wonder if they're, like, infinitely respawning. 
Hey, hey, what's up, gentlemen? Sound. <clears throat> Sight. You're out. Good night. <laughs> Now, can I actually get up this hallway without everyone, like, freaking coming after me? That's not a watch member. Alright, here we go. That weapon woke me up. I know it, I know it. No, no, this is not my 90s cam. It's decidedly not my 90s cam. This is a very good webcam. This is Black Alley. The red handprint is the mark of illegal establishments. Look down there. Because he said he was doing the... Right? Didn't he say he was doing the drop... Under a sewer grate in Black Alley, right. So I assume that's what I just picked up. I'm guessing. It's pretty obvious sewer money. Oh, he's got a key. That guy has got a key. That is good to know. Have you got a key? on a second. My, uh... My little viewer count counter thing decided to go silent. Alright. Here we go. On we go. That guy is not from the watch. Follow me, sir. Take a nice little nap. Right over here. There you go. 99. You know the interesting thing I'm finding about this mission, and I had heard some people talk about this, is that... Deadly Shadows does not have the more linear structure that you got from some of these missions. So technically, I could have just, like, said the heck with all of this. Oh, there's something in there. Moss Arrow. The Moss Arrow creates soft patches of moss on the ground. Shoot it onto loud surfaces underfoot to move over those silently. Nice. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, so this is much more, like, open-ended a little bit. Where I wouldn't, I could have just, like, gone straight to my fence. I didn't have to do all that extra stuff. But I just wanted to because I wanted to get more... More thieving in, so. Yeah, and isn't the new Castlevania coming out also? Isn't the new Castlevania due out any moment? I think I heard Ceres talking about that. I don't actually know which one of these. Ah, sir. Welcome. Is this your first time visiting us? Ooh. Take your time. Peruse. Enjoy. Shopping should never be a rushed experience. Wait, I have no gold? Zero gold, really? We hope you find it. Ah, sir. You don't seem to have any cash. Perhaps you should go to Heartless Perry's. All right, Heartless Perry. At least I know where that is. All right, here we go. Garrett, Taff, didn't expect to see you. Haven't you heard? 
Lady Elizabeth from Rutherford Castle is after you. What? She was in here with some goons, asking a bunch of questions about that opal. They did a job on me. See the bruises? Had to give them a name. I guess before I knew that I'd given them yours. What? Which is the truth, ain't it? Anyway, uh, I watch your back, eh, pal? Uh, about the opal. No way I can risk taking it now, but I know someone who can. A fence in Stone Market. Black Market Bertha. If I were you, I'd go to Stone Market to see her now, before those goons find you. A anyway, I can still give you cash for whatever other loot you stole from the castle. Business as usual. And uh, no hard feelings, eh, Garrett? I mean, uh, who's the one all beaten up? <laughs> really, guy? Really? Did you see? Those goons who beat me up barricaded the gate to Stone Market. Um, Lady Elizabeth's goons. You what do you mean, Toon? I don't understand what you mean, Toon. Sure, Did you hear about the quarantine? There we go. City Watch ain't telling what it's about, but I got my hunches, that's for sure. Can't believe that dude, like, turned me over to her. Which is, like, crazy. All right, deal with Lady Elizabeth and her thugs. You can get to Stone Market, sell the Bloodline Opal to Black Market, Birth of the Fence and Stone Market proper. All right. Before we do any of that, we're going to go back to this guy and buy us some other things. Take your time, look around. Here at the well-equipped thief, we pride ourselves on stocking everything a person like yourself might need. The well-equipped thief. We hope you find All everything right. you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. I love water arrows. We hope you find everything you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. Okay. I don't. I need. I have thirty Something arrows. I don't need any of those. I have six health potions. For? I think I'm fine. The name's Thomas. I have um. If the sir eleven of flash bombs. Anything. So, we hope maker you find arrow. everything you need. So, really, it's just water arrows that I need. So. We're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. Hmm. Do I want to get another noisemaker arrow? I guess I'll get one more of those. What? Oh, maybe I maybe I can't buy any more of those. I understand. Weird. All right. Well, then I'm just gonna. We hope you find everything you need. With this quarantine, we're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. All right. I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna save 200 just in case I need it later on. I know, right? Yeah. Sure. Of course, optic. Definitely. And yeah, I agree. Game. Thanks He's just like, oh, sorry, us. my bad. Like, we hey, what's up, PG? Soon. Are Look, we looking can. for anything special right. tonight, sir? All right. Now I got lots of equipment. Not much gold, but lots of equipment. Which is what you get the money for, after all. Because it's not about the monies. It's about the equipment. All right. So now I got to deal with Lady Elizabeth and her thugs. Feeling pretty good about my items. So, I got to get into the docks, though. Oh, actually, wait, no, Stone Market. I wonder what dealing with Lady Elizabeth and her thugs means. Does it mean I'm trying to take them out? What does that mean? I'm trying to, like, steal their brains? What am I trying to do? Thanks, Mike, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you guys don't already know, I think I've mentioned this before, but Capoeirist Mike is actually my friend Mike Underwood, who's a, an author um, and a very good guy and uh, someone who's got a bunch of books that are coming out. Um, and uh, his first two books in one series, Geekomancy and Celebromancy, are out. Um, and his third book in that series, I'm trying to remember the name, oh my goodness, it, it's, I think it's Attack the Geek, if I'm not mistaken, um, but anyway, that is coming soon, uh, and he's got other stuff coming out from 47 North, so good guy, definitely, um, definitely check him out, Mike Underwood is his name. For September, it said they can request a picture of whatever they want. 
Yeah, I don't know, Toon. I, may, I think I missed something. Can you can you run that back at me again? Like what this was about somebody sent you something and I think I missed the opening part of that, so I'm not really understanding what it is you're saying. I do not follow. I also don't follow where I'm supposed to go. Oh, guess who's got the city watch? Going on, alright. Can't get in the prison. Can't get in there. Um, yeah, good night, Mike. So, yeah, I'm confused. Let's see. That's my house. That's to the docks. That's the black alley. That's the watch I just passed. So this is the prison. But I can't get into these docks. I thought I already got in here already. Maybe not. Maybe I need to go back up there. Oh, okay. I see, Tune. Well, that's like... So it's almost like one of those chain emails, like one of those chain letter type of things. Hey! Aha! You there! Run while you can! Ah. Ah, taffer! Oh. Stop bloody running! Ow! Ah. This'll take it... Oh! oh. Yeah, that didn't work. Ah, uh, sigh. Got to deal with that guy somehow. <laughs> oh, that's where I came from. Through here, up here. More City Watch stuff. Got something on his back. There it is. Oh god damn it. Run for it! There, you surrender or die. Hey you! You're not high. Darn it. Problem is I don't actually know where it is that I'm going. I've got to go find wherever stone market is, but it's not really marked well on the map. A lot of guards around.
Uh. I don't want any trouble. What? Oh, this little hit I ever got. He's over here. You're cute with that, right? I should not even be going that direction, I assume. I just don't know where I'm going, is the problem. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I assume that I'm supposed to be heading up back towards where my house was. But, like... I don't know. I think it's too dangerous down there. I should just head down this way. The animals are in a strange mood tonight. Can't open that. God, but the city watch, man. Sounded almost like, <clears throat> like a person blackjacking you. Oh, boy. oh god. There you are. <laughs> Let's Take this. see what you're made of. <clears throat> Isn't anyone with me? Someone help me. <clears throat> Someone help me. Too. Damn. Okay, I can't go that way. <laughs> Note to self, do not walk back into another guard while carrying first guard. That will not, that will not end well. Yeah, I don't... Tune, I'm not really... <laughs> I'm thinking those are messages that probably ought to be just left with them. Like, in other words, not necessarily shared with everyone else. It sounds like a spam type message to me, man. Hey, what's up, rookie? Face cam, yeah. Yeah, man. Everything is happening, rookie. Everything is happening. All the things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. This will be a lot easier. It's dark back here, so. Hey, hey, what's up, Sod? Good to see you, man. Probably not gonna work out too well, but Oh god. Can I just see? No way. What was I thought I saw? Just 
That's two guys. All right. I'm not really sure if any of this is, if I'm supposed to be doing any of this, or if they're, like, infinitely respawning or something. Yeah. Yeah, a trippy is right. That's what a lot of people have said. And, uh, we'll see. It's an experiment. But, um... Hey, how are things? I'm giving it a try. Alright, I'm making my way back up to, um... Making my way back up here to where my house is, which is where I assume I'm going to have to deal with those thugs. What's up, Kevlar? <laughs> Stupid farmers. Something's got them all riled up. I knew there was another guy there. you back with all the others. Hey, hey, good to see you, Kevlar. What's up, man? Did that rat just eat the other guard? Yeah, these guys are just infinitely respawning. It doesn't matter how many times I knock them out. I think I just did a circle. Last night. Eh. God, man. What? Need to find my house. I'm not blackjacking them hard enough yet. I think it's more that I'm blackjacking them so hard that I'm actually, like, splitting them into two. Like, every hit does two more guard damage. See you later, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny game. Hey, Socio, what's up, man? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna start putting out the torches around this place. I don't even... Are you serious? Really? Okay, good. Let's get out of here! A weakling! Are you alright? Uh oh! Oh this no! I'm off! Come oh. on! Go! This is not at all where I was supposed to be. Ah! Coming! Trying to find where the hell my house is. I'm not actually gonna keep this save, but. I remember where it is now. Okay. Yes, I do have my cam on, yep. Oh, you started putting... You're using a cam on your stream, Socio? Yeah. Tie a blackjack to a water arrow. That's totally what I should do. Step aside. There it is again. Something's got those bruises. Okay. Uh-huh. I see Lady Elizabeth and some thugs over there, I think. So I'm gonna save here. Um, let's save it there. Looks like Lady Elizabeth is here with a couple of thugs. Did you see that fence wince? 
I only had to hit him three times before he started spilling his guts. Couldn't wait to give us Garrett's name. It was my knife at his throat that made him talk, you taffer. Heartless Perry, huh? He wasn't so tough. I want to go back and rough him up some more. Shut up, you fools. The whole town can hear you. Beg pardon, Lady Elizabeth. The money is ready. Don't dally. I haven't got all night. Taff. <laughs> we wasn't being that loud. And if she's a noble, then I must be quite a gent. I'll be glad when this job is over. Let's go. Beating on Perry was fun, but it's the money that counts. And Gotta let wait till they pass. Which time to change her mind? The money better be right. I'm bringing my knife, just in case. Hold on, you taffer. We can't go all at once. Who'd guard the gate? <laughs> no, we gotta go up one at a time. One at a time. That way, the other two can keep a lookout for Garrett or anything suspicious. Make sure no one, and I do mean no one, gets through our barricade until the lady's opal is back. Barricade, huh? Else, why would she pay, huh? All right, all right. Don't go all bossy on us. So, I have to deal with that guy. This for Dark Messiah, I could like repel up the side. Like, actually, I could come in that way, but hey, what's up, Bill? Yes, you do see a face. gonna walk right past me. Thought I saw. Probably just a cat or something I saw. Aha! That was the way to get- I didn't even know that was available there. All right. That guy deserved to get clocked. I followed him for seven. At least try to put up. Man. A good fight, all right. Let's try that again. At least I know what to do with him now. <laughs> I look like Green Arrow with a green arrow stash. Yeah. Actually, you know, my beard is actually a little bit reddish. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Being cam girl. Alright, time to deal with Lady Elizabeth. Uh, 
friends in the future. Yes, yeah, so it would have been just as easy to kill him and dump his body somewhere. The dead pits. I won't make the same mistake again. Aha! God damn it. Don't make the same mistake again because I'm going to knock you out. Lady Elizabeth, by the way, for people who were watching me the other night, Lady Elizabeth was the one who was doing all the uh, poisons. So she's a little creepy already. Ah, oh well. Maybe I made the whole thing up. I got a good imagination after all. Have a seat, Elizabeth. Okay. M. Soon the opal will be mine. The fence told us the thief's native is Garrett, and then he'll try for Stone Market. But my men have barricaded the gate and are ready for him. When I return to Castle Brotherford of the Opal, I'll watch Julian and Ember suffer. For a time, anyway. Later, I'll poison them. Never leave loose ends, Lady E. Who is M? Who's a funny? Sigh. That's why you don't blackjack someone from the side of the head. Blackjack from them behind the head. Uh, at least try to oh. up a good fight. Damn it. I'm rushing because I don't want him to turn around by the time he gets there. When I put it under control, like he slows way down is the problem. There you go. Follow me. See, I don't really like where either of them are positioned. Mm. Yeah, let's put that in here. <laughs> okay. Right, so I might as well put you here, and I might as well put you will come follow me over here. There we go. Yeah, no transcoder yet, but we'll get there. Now I've only got the one guy left. Hang on a second. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So now I can save that under... let's put that there. Now I've just got the one guy left to deal with. I almost wanted to finish, uh, let him finish that conversation, but... So much for your barricade, sir. It's okay to put you over there. There we go. So much for your amazing, awesome sauce barricade.
Yeah, so the only problem is I don't... I thought I did deal with her thugs. So I don't know why that objective hasn't changed yet. To stone market. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> What's up, Mano? Ah, oh, Mano. What's well, going I on, man? Well, I passed Lady Elizabeth and her thugs, and now here I am in Stone Market. This district's known for commerce and corruption, with plenty of both for everybody. Most people come here for the stores, but I tend to do my shopping after everything is locked up for the night. There's the clock tower, one of the tallest buildings in the city. Good landmark day or night. And finally, the Stone Market Plaza. More vendors, more people. No doubt the City Watch will be keeping an eye out for pickpockets like me, though. Being a thief is never as easy as it sounds. Anyway, it's time for me to find this Bertha character and get rid of the Opal once and for all. I hope Perry was right about her. Oh, I'm sure he would be. I mean, Perry's been right about so much so far. Big. Okay, sell the Bloodline Opal to Black Market Bertha, the fence in Stone Market proper. Bertha's place is marked on my map with the red handprint. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I just came out of... Let's see. South Quarter. So, there's up here. There's a courtyard. There's a clock tower there. And then that is where I'm supposed to go to sell the blood... Uh, the uh, opal thing. So... <laughs> Kevlar. What's up, Asset? Yes, it is a webcam, you see. Good to see you, man. Hey, what's up, Pippo? Holy crap, webcam! Yeah, I know. Twitch chat has been nightmarish. I'm glad that they finally admitted that the Twitch uh, Plays Pokemon is, in fact, w did have a an effect. A serious effect on their system. Hi! Hello. Because for a while they were like, oh no, it's completely different, it has nothing to do with it, we put it on another server. And then today they were like, yeah, we need to work on scaling. It's like, yep, yes you do. Yes, you do. Faintest idea where I am. Hey, Harris! Thanks a lot, man. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, sir. Harris! What's going on? Harris, how you been, man? How's life in Vegas, sir? I see you. You've made your last mistake. Go ahead. <laughs> that was a surprise. Oh, no! Oh. What the hell are you doing? Someone's in the <laughs> Someone's in the alley shooting an arrow at my face. <laughs> Good to see you, Harris. How you been, man? Honestly, I keep losing my... I keep losing this number. What is this? Let's see, hold on a second here. I keep losing my little numbers uh, count counter that I have. I assume it has something to do with the way, the weird way I have to window capture this game, but... What's up, Ryu? <laughs> no Twitch was straight since it let me stream, yeah. I'll let anybody in here. Nice, man. Well, welcome to the only place in the country where that's the case. Chump. Call me a chump. Stone market proper, huh? Um Don't entirely know. Whether I should be going for other stuff here. I just wish their mapping system was better. 
Ah, ha, ha, hi. I knew that wasn't gonna work. I had waited too long. Oh, nice. Busy with Bitcoin? <laughs> I know, well, apparently... There you go. Follow me. Right this way. Ooh, and there's a moss arrow there. Nice. And how about right there? Kapow. Alright, now. Only got two of those moss arrows, but those could be very useful. Alright, sounds good, gentlemen. I hate those non-extinguishable lights. Another moss arrow. No, oh, you are not a member of the City Watch. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, it's me. Is that you, uh, Garrett? Yeah, that's right. I'm Garrett, master thief what? at your service. Who would want him dead? Farley said hey, you had guards! For me. Over here! Brent, is it? Aha! Indeed I, I know do. you're the culprit. I, uh, I'm gonna get someone uh, to deal no! with you. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. I just thought you looked different. That's all. It's, it's nothing. Hey, I'm the greatest Somebody thief ever help! lived. I it's the murderer. Anyway, oh man. man. Come back. No! Watch it! You could have hurt me. Watch it! You could have hurt me. Just a little, father. Damn it! Come here. Ah, you're no fun. <laughs>